Hi everyone, this is Phil for Extra TV, and I'm here with Frank and Matt from way off Broadway. Showtime. 21 ordinary people, one extraordinary moment. It's gonna be fine. They're about to step into the limelight before an audience of more than a thousand to stage an all-time favorite musical, The Wizard of Oz. Let's start by just saying, did you have fun? It was the best fun ever, actually. Pro probably the most fun I've ever had, standing up. Mm -hmm. um, it, was, <laughs> it was really good. And we had a yeah. great time. We met so many nice people on the set. Frank and I, I think, naturally kind of found each other quite quickly in the rehearsals. Did you gravitate? Did well, the there was also, gravitate? definitely the gays gravitated. We knew the gays right off the bat, but there was also <laughs> like, there was, there was also like the leads and sort of the chorus part. So me and Matt were more in the chorus and we drove home together every day after rehearsal. Oh, that's great. So we had huge bitch fests, yeah. bitch fests in the car on the way home. So once the mics came off, we went to town. Yeah. <laughs> was it like noticeable? It's off and it's like, oh, oh as soon as go. we got in the car, we we're like, did you see what she did today? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Great job, Matt. How was it? I had okay. such a blast. Was, was it great. fun? Yeah, I'm so excited. Did you like it, Aku? Yeah, it was great. You know, as a teacher, I thought it would be helpful. I'm the head of our Gay Straight Alliance at school, and I'm really pro-gay at school and very active in, in our community, so I really did want to make sure that I made a, set a good example. While away the hours, conferring with the flowers, consulting with the rain. Growing up as a gay kid, there's a point in life that you sort of get, I, I, for me anyways, I got very introverted. I, I was never an introvert, but I, I didn't like people to stare at me and I definitely stopped doing, I used to do a lot of acting and then around 12, 13, I stopped because I really didn't like being up on the stage and having people judge me. And so yeah. this is sort of a way, finally at 40, I've decided that it's time to like get over that and sort of took this on and had some fun. In trouble or in pain. With the thoughts you'd be thinking, you could be another Lincoln if you only had a brain. Were there any what? behind the scene hookups that you can. Um, we've never talked about some detail There's on? There's speculation. There's <gasps> speculation, but I'm, I'm not going to say anymore about yeah, that. <laughs> We're not prepared to talk about that on camera. Okay, that's fine. Well, say, yeah. It wasn't Frank been... and I. That's yeah, it sure. wasn't us. Oh, okay. My husband <gasps> might have been upset if that happened. <laughs> Okay, so the show is based on you putting on The Wizard of Oz as a musical. Were you ever a fan? Are you still a fan after going through this? I, um, I mean, it's probably the gayest yes. musical of all time, right? So I'm sure there's a little part in every gay boy and girl out there that just loves this musical. It is the day where you're going to find out who you are in our show. This whole process is terrifying. <laughs> Way Off Broadway airs 8 p.m. on Fridays on Bravo, so make sure you check it out. It's going to be a terrific show. I can't wait to see it, you guys. Thanks for having so us. Thanks. Having us yeah. Yeah. thanks for matching today. You're welcome. <laughs> it's really good. It's nice really this happened almost every week at rehearsal, too. <laughs> <laughs>